You know, one thing that is a staple in anime, cartoons, video games, whatever, is the transformation of your character to see them leveling up. I think Dragon Ball Z actually really started that shit, where they go Super Saiyan and, you know, it's like a visual gag. They, they get blonde hair, they blow up, they get super strong, etc. Fun fact, actually, the reason why they go golden is because the guy wanted to save time inking, so he just kind of made them blonde. And when you make something blonde and black and white, you just make it white. But there's something MLP does here. You know, they kind of take that. They take the transformation. They take the transformation that happens. And so it's like even the Steven Universe with the fusions. And they kind of dilute it. But they don't really. But they do at the same time. Like here. Here. Let's do a little experiment. Close your eyes. And between Equestria Girls and MLP, come up with three different variants and be able to actually picture it, like all six of them, because they're always together. Could you do it? Because I know I can, and I make a living doing this kind of shit with the show for 10 years. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's the fact that we don't see it as much, but the designs just don't resonate with, well, pretty much anyone. There's no one who I have ever met and had a conversation with about the transformation sequences in MLP that was like, yeah, that's actually my shit, dude. I love that shit. Fucking rainbow power. No one ever. But again, this is also the fandom that still thinks Twilight getting wings is the worst thing that happened to the show. But I gotta admit, it doesn't feel good. Rainbow power could have totally fit in with the show, but it wasn't consistent. We kind of just moved on to the next transformation sequence but all of it seems gimmicky and this is coming from the guy who actually enjoys the different transformations in dragon ball i mean come on we have super saiyan one which is just blonde hair super saiyan 2 which has the sparking effect but then you also have red and blue which is literally just recolors of two and one and i think it's the littest shit in the world and so does most people who watch it so why do we give that a free pass and most people forget about MLP. Is it because of the fact that MLP is doing it for toy money? Come on, you really think DBZ isn't? That's totally for toy money and gotcha games. Games where you just spend a lot of money to get different variations and cards of the same characters over and over. Same shit happens in One Piece or Bleach, Naruto. Any show really has these transformations, but they're all a lot more iconic. When's the last time you've seen a piece of fan art referencing rainbow power? It just doesn't really happen. And even though it was something that only happened once, it was something that took an entire season to build up to. Yeah, build up to it for an entire season, for like six months or, or more, however long it was, we built up to it. And then we all forgot about it the next season. And don't get me started on Equestria Girls, or do, because I need to hit 10 minutes to actually make any money on this video. If it's not claimed, anyways. Their transformations don't really stick or do anything, really. It seems completely circumstantial on what they're already wearing. They seem to just transform into whatever's fitting for that moment. I thought the Rainbow Rocks transformations were pretty fitting and probably the best transformations, especially since Equestria Girls is primarily about music, but they keep on changing it. And because they're changing it, it constantly, I don't know, it feels different. Again, Dragon Ball changes a lot too, but they still go back to the original. Like the original transformation of just Super Saiyan is still used a lot. In fact, the only one that's not used is Super Saiyan 3 and Super Saiyan 4. Super Saiyan 4 being retconned because fuck GT, apparently. I guess I'm the only person alive that actually enjoyed GT. But 3 is just never really used. That being said, 3 is still super iconic. In fact, one of the most iconic ones just because of when it happened. But this wasn't something that was as built up as other transformations such as with MLP. There wasn't an entire season building up and heading towards Super Saiyan 3. Of course, I could just be tripping my entire contents based upon making fun of MLP or coming up with outlandish theories, which I haven't done for about a year. So maybe I'm a little bit tainted. Maybe you guys actually love every single variant and all the people I've talked to are just jaded and totally cynical, which is probably true. <laughs> Which, yeah, that's probably true. That's probably true. But maybe you guys all love it. If that's the case, let me know. But honestly, I just don't see any of these forms being nearly iconic 
as iconic as most of the other transformations in most of the other shows, despite them all following the same little landmarks that each transformation is supposed to follow. They're built up more so. They happen at a pivotal show point, you know, at, at the end of the season that usually solve an issue. And, you know, they, they do change up the character design, but... Maybe it's just, I don't know. Maybe you guys actually don't even like the design. Maybe that's it. But for whatever the reason is, whether you like it or you don't like it, why don't you go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. I actually do read the comments. I know every YouTuber started saying that, but I am an attention whore. And anytime you comment, I probably read it. Whether it's negative or positive. But if it's negative, I'm probably creating a voodoo curse to give your 2020 the worst luck ever. So just remember that. And as always, guys, I love your faces. So I hope you at least like my video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo!